good bull. I'm originally from South Texas and it's a real treat to be able to come back here and hunt. Really looking forward to hunting the Mariposa Ranch. Oh yeah, let me see if I can get through here. This is to me a, a big trophy in my class. I've shot a lot of whitetails, but never a nail guy. Uh, you have to outsmart them, you have to outflank them, get around in front of them, or sneak up on them, and that is no easy feat. It's kind of a cat and mouse game, isn't it? Hunting these nail guy. It's a chess match. And finally, we came around a bend, and lo and behold, you know, both Juan and Shane picked up some cows. He said, there's got to be a bull in here. So we set up, we got in a little closer on them. Here comes the bull, here comes the bull. I got him. On the autumn wind comes the time of the hunter and the tradition of the continent's greatest game. Now, the quest is here to discover where the buck waits for us. Join in hunting's ultimate test. Experience the skill and determination, the honor and respect, the disappointment and elation, all part of the call of the ultimate challenge, the American Deer. I'm originally from South Texas, and it's a real treat to be able to come back here and hunt. Really looking forward to hunting the Mariposa Ranch. Shane Jones is a highly experienced hunter, pinch hitting for Ultimate Buck Zone host Mark Kaiser. Mark's travel plans to the warm climate of South Texas have been blocked by fierce winter weather in Wyoming. So it's up to Shane, who's hunting on Mariposa Ranch with Ram Trucks Mike Raymond to track down something different. It's been several years since I've been back and I'm really excited about coming back. You know, it's just a mecca for wildlife, anything from whitetail to even nail guy, which was imported back in the early 1900s and has just thrived down in the coastal regions. And this is to me a, a big trophy in my class. I've shot a lot of whitetails, but never a nail guy. You know, I'm looking forward to the hunt. It should be exciting. You know, we arrived at camp and one of the first things you always want to do, which I want to do, is always sight in our rifles. So I met with Mike. Uh, Mike's a great guy. I can tell we're going to have a, a lot of fun together. All right, Mike, I just got here, man. So I'm going to do a little uh, sighting in. Huh? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've got a great range. I mean, their targets, they got, what, 25, 50, and then 75 and 100 yards. So. Hey, if we can nail it at 100 yards, we're good to go. We're good to go. I'm excited. Right. You know, and talking to Mike, yeah, he mentioned nail guy. He's like, what is a nail guy? He had to go online just to look it up, see what it was. And to me, this is a real trophy. And it's kind of, we thought, well, we'll do a coin toss or paper, rock, scissors. See who's going to hunt first. We're allowed two whitetails and a nail guy. So uh, I chose the nail guy. I've shot plenty of whitetails. We'll let him take the whitetail. Mike Raymond's already had a good hunt, with Mariposa guide Juan Salinas taking a trophy whitetail. All right, we have some does cutting across. Looks like a little over 100 yards out. Mike, I know there's a buck in the bunch. I saw horns earlier. Here comes doe number two. Here comes doe number three. I'm starting to doubt Shane a little bit. You know, you sure there's antlers coming? Mike, there's the buck. There's the buck. See him in the back? He's a good one, he's a yeah. shooter. Here he comes, here he comes Mike. Stop, get him to stop. Now he's moving again. Okay. Nice job. <laughs>
Nice shot. Dude, all right, finally. Nine point, beautiful buck. Hey, last moments what? of tonight. Well worth the energy. <laughs> I definitely was sweating back there. Awesome. Way to end the night, buddy. Awesome. Congrats. Right, thank you. Good job. Thank you. Good work. Mike got his whitetail. I was up. It was my turn for nail guy. We went to a different pasture, saw a couple cows, saw another bull. They were moving back across. Hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of a good bull. Hopefully he can stop for us. There he is. Today's episode of Ultimate Buck Zone, powered by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Nikon, the trusted name on optics, Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Shop at one of our over 45 locations and buy QDMA, the future of deer hunting. You know, whitetail season ended and talking with Mike, he said, hey, you're up, it's your turn next. And I was just, I couldn't wait to get out in the field. It's nail guy time. All right, hey, it looks like Juan's here. Yeah, hey, it's about that time, man. All right, let's go start the day. So today's hunt began with, uh, you know, Shane riding shotgun, basically. Uh, it was his turn to uh, go out and then look for a nail guy. And you know, I was gonna return the favor that he offered to me previously of another set of eyes, guys sitting there being the cheerleader, um, coming along on, on the hunt. The Nail guy kill. time. And I'm up. Morning. Hi. Good morning, Juan. We'll see you. Hey, Juan, how are you? Pretty good. So what's the uh, game plan for today? This morning, we'll probably go look for a uh, nail guy. We've been seeing a bunch and uh, they're not as well as they used to be. They're standing a little more. Good. They give you a better shot now. Fantastic. And we have a chance to uh, shoot him behind the shoulder. Okay. It's like in Africa, aim, their, their organs are a little lower in the yeah. back cavity. Okay. Right. They're a big animal. Oh, well, yeah, they're I, strong. I'm excited. They're yeah. strong. Well, let's go. Let's yeah. head up there. Let's get it. So we head out early in the morning, Juan and I and Mike, and we look up ahead of us, and in the Sendero are some cows feeding, and we look, and there's a big blue bull nail guy. He was a good bull. Yeah. Wow, they're big. What'd you think of that nail guy? Oh, that was awesome. Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was a long Took shot. Up something, yeah, yeah. Turned around and ran away from us, unfortunately, yep. but uh, make a good start here. Oh, yeah. 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 A little action early. I mean, first 30 minutes of hunting. There we go. Shane Jones and Ram's Mike Raymond's Nil Guy hunts on the Mariposa Ranch, 45,000 acres of mesquite oak mods, prairies, and saltgrass flats lying between Corpus Christi and Old Mexico. It's a ranch that's been in the same family for 100 years. So the uh, Mariposa Lodge here is um, quite extensive. Uh, the accommodations are fantastic, a lot of great looking mounts on the walls. The hunting on Mariposa doesn't begin or end with white-tailed deer or nilgai antelope. Hunters can also go after hogs, javelina, and even bobcat. There are doves and wild turkeys. And the bobwhite quail hunting is something exceptional, with only wild birds hunted behind pointers with trainers. Oh, 
first. Beautiful. Birds up, Steve. Wow. Great view, great atmosphere, got the palm trees. So just a fantastic layout, uh, you know, here at Mariposa. And we decided to drive ways further. I asked Juan, I said, what do you want to do? He goes, let's go find another bull. I said, okay. So we went to a different pasture, saw a couple cows, saw another bull. So Juan dropped us off and we were going to watch a sendero to see if he was crossing. You know, Juan just dropped us off here and we're going to get in position. Hunt this sendero. They were moving back across. Hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of a good bull. That's the one that we're after anyway. Let's get in position. Let's get up here. We'll be here in a few minutes. the trigger. I mean, I had him there, but he just wouldn't stop. You know, nail guy are so elusive. You think whitetail are. A nail guy is probably three times the size or four times the size of a whitetail, but they're like ghosts. I mean, they can travel miles in a day. We're down here once again. I'm hunting uh, whitetail. Shane is going to be uh, looking for nail guy. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, I had to you know, go on the internet to understand exactly what a Neil guy is. The Neil guy is certainly worth learning about. That elusiveness Shane referred to is something that came by naturally and out of necessity, having been among the favored prey of the Bengal tiger in its native India. Despite short horns, it was also a prized trophy big game animal among international hunters. Introduced into the Texas wild around the Mariposa Ranch in the 1930s, there are now more Nilgai there than in their original home. Nilgai translates as blue bowl because of the male's blue steel hide color. It looks like it was assembled by some eccentric scientist from the horns of a cow, the body of a camel, and the beard of a turkey gobbler. As large and heavy as a bull elk, it is also excellent eating. You have to outsmart them, you have to outflank them, get around in front of them, or sneak up on them, and that is no easy feat. That's why I really like hunting the nail guy. I, I consider it a real trophy. There was my shot. There was a second there where I had the crosshairs right on him, but he wouldn't stop. Hey, the game plan worked, but let's see if we can get in front of him. We missed that opportunity on the Sendero for that one nail guy that crossed. It took him three, four seconds, and I just didn't have the shot. So we picked back up, went to another pasture. It's kind of a cat and mouse game, isn't it? Hunting these nail guy. It's a chess match. He said, there's got to be a bull in here. So we set up. We got in a little closer on him. Here comes the bull. Here comes the bull. I got him. How many acres are here on the Mediposa? 45,000. Wow. Are we going to be focused on uh, one area, like the north section, or all over? I don't know. We're going to be all over. Are we? we okay. Got long road take. So where are we headed now this afternoon? We probably go over here to the other side. We probably go so right in something. here. Okay. Well, let's get going. Time to get hunting. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. <laughs> so we picked up and moved on. You know, pursuing the hunt and we weren't seeing anything. So we're all kind of getting anxious, wondering, you know, 
when the next Neil guy is going to present itself. It's kind of a cat and mouse game, isn't it? Hunting these Neil guy. It's a chess match. And then finally we came around a bend and lo and behold, you know, both Juan and, and Shane picked up some cows. We're going to try and get closer to them, see if we can get a better shot. Okay. They're not moving that fast. No. So. They're just walking. Okay. Let's close he's the behind, game. He's behind that brush. Going at an angle? Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll probably come out. Okay. He said, there's got to be a bull in here. So we set up. We got in a little closer on him. There's the cows. See the cows? Yeah. 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 I'm going to get up yeah, on this yeah. bush. Okay. Well, the cows are moving. Okay, heading to our right there slightly. Here comes the bull. Here comes the bull. Okay, he stopped. Let's go. I got him. I hit him a little far back. Let's go, let's go, let's go catch up to him. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Made the hit. It was a little bit further back than I wanted. He took off. We went after him, stalked him. Good shot. He's here. He's down. He's, he's down. down. All right. <laughs> Good bull, yeah, man. Go. Good Shane bull, huh? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, incredible. Wow. Yeah, that was a chase, huh? Yeah, nice little chase. Man, they're strong. He took us away. I mean, all those cows. Oh, that's great. What a beautiful nail guy. I mean, is it just a beast? Probably 800-pound animal, mature bull. And this is what we came for. Let's go take a look at him, huh? Excellent. Today's episode of Ultimate Buck Zone, powered by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Nikon, the trusted name on optics, and by Sportsman's Warehouse. Shop at one of our over 45 locations. TDMA's Real Hunting Pledge is a way hunters are proudly proclaiming that the deer they're pursuing are not the products of artificial reproduction in a pen, and importantly, they're not subjected to what we would consider unfair, perhaps even canned hunting conditions. These are real deer being pursued by real hunters. Oh, he's down, one. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. yeah, look how big they are. He's black, huh? Yeah, they're a real strong animal. Let's take a look at him. You know, nail guy are big animals, big boned animals. You've got to have the right ammunition, the hornady ammunition worked flawlessly. I mean, that first shot, a little bit far back, really kind of started breaking him down. When we got up closer to him, made that, hey, right behind the shoulder, 60 yard shot, he went down. Hey, it worked flawless. Awesome. Okay. He's it's a good, good. one. We just saw him there beside the road, you know. He gave, yeah. Thank you, he gave us a good shot. What a hunt. Exciting chase. Yes, yeah. It was. These, these animals are hard to keep up with, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And this was, what, our, our fifth encounter? Yeah. This one yeah. Before we had a chance. It was 4-0 for yeah. them. Finally connected on the last one. He's a good one. Beautiful. Great hunt. Great fellowship. I mean, to be with Mike on his whitetail hunt the day before, and then for us, for me to get my, my nail guy bull this morning, it just, it was incredible. Hey, the hunt was over for me. It was a great, great nail guy. That's a good looking nail guy. What do you think incredible. of these animals? Have you ever seen one of these my before? First, my first really? time seeing this type of animal. <sighs> Do you I'm notice the beard? From Michigan, yeah. Yeah. And beard here. Definitely nothing we see in Michigan, that's for no. sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful so, mount, too. Incredible. I love it. And, and, the, and the meat is just delicious. 
It's yeah. like, it's better than elk, I think. It's awesome. Woo, what a rodeo, wow. huh? <laughs> we got him, hit him a little far back on that first shot, but awesome. we made it happen, didn't we? That's great. I was uh, just amazed at the overall size, the sheer size of this species. Uh, very muscular, you know, this dark gray, blackish tone to it, you know, the beard, and then the horns, you know, a good five, six inch horns, uh, dead black horns. Just uh, seeing this beautiful animal uh, was, was incredible. Thank you, Juan. You're yeah, welcome. Juan. Excellent. Put us in nice position. job. Thank you. Good spot in the bull. Mm -hmm. Just saw the cows and then he popped out. Hiding in that wood line. Or... Yeah, yeah. He's great, man. Well, let's get this guy loaded up and let's get him field dressed, get a license on him and get back to camp, huh? You know, this is the first time I've ever had a chance to spend time at the Mariposa Ranch. And I just, you know, met the people. Juan has been fabulous. He knows the area. He's worked here for over 21 years, he said. And that's, you know, he grew up here. His father worked here. He's part of the family. Uh, you know, it's kind of a family atmosphere. It's uh, Spanish style, hacienda. Being raised in Arlington, Texas, I grew up here. So I felt like I was kind of a returning home to, to the homeland. Just really great people to work with, very knowledgeable, great food, they'll spoil you. If you get an opportunity, you need to try the Metaposa Ranch.